hey hello there welcome back to our channel this video is going to be a little bit different in this video we are going to look at a project which i have recently built so i have written a couple of articles on this project and people seems to be liking that project and the articles which i have written so in this video what we will do we will go over the project we will try to understand what and how i have built that project and also what are the different design choices i have taken while building the project and we will also cover how you can build the project on your own or if you want to contribute to the same project which i have built how you can do that okay so stay tuned till the end so now let's see what i have actually built so actually i was really fascinated about how the remote code execution platforms works the platforms like lead code interview beat hacker rank right so you must have used those platforms. what they do they allows you to write your code and in the background these platforms will submit the code to the server the server will run that code on set of test cases and based on the execution result it will either show success or error like whether your code ran successfully on the list of test cases or your code failed on certain test cases so this is what platforms like lead code do now in general these platforms are called as remote code execution platforms okay so i was always fascinated by these platforms i tried searching any open source implementations of this platform and i couldn't find it so that's when i actually decided to build it from scratch so the ui which is shown on the screen is actually the platform which i have built for remote code execution firstly we will go over the ui of this platform so this is what the ui of the platform looks like so it's the standard ui uh, for the platforms like lead code okay on the left hand side we have the problems there are currently two problems the first is add two numbers and the second one is factorial of a number on the right hand side we have the problem statement the problem statement is add two number and there is the small description of the problem statement okay and here is the code editor in this code editor you need to actually write the code to solve this problem now this problem particularly expect us the result of addition of these two numbers and also the language which is currently supported is only javascript okay so you need to write the code in javascript only now let me just write the code and run the code so let's go ahead okay now let's run the code and see what happens so i am submitting the code the code is running on list of test, test cases and i am getting congratulations your code is running on all test cases okay now let's play with this code instead of doing a plus b let's write a minus b and now let's see what happens with the result so i am submitting the code again well here we get the output the output is test cases are failing please check your code which is correct so the code which i have written here will not give you the addition of a and b now what will happen if you write syntactically uncorrect code let's check that so here what, here what i am doing i am doing console.log only this so this is incorrect syntax right now let's submit this code and see what happens so i am submitting the code so i'm getting error while compiling the code okay which is the right answer so this is what the platform looks like now let's see what is the architecture of this platform and how i have implemented different components in it so on your screen you can actually see the architecture of the platform so the first component is is this front end so the front end is written in next.js front end displays the program to the user also it allows you to write the code okay and send it to the server once you write the code and hit the submit button the code will be sent to the backend web application this is written in node.js using express so basically there is a route which exists in the backend web application where we will get the code okay after that backend web application doesn't execute the code it will push that code into a queue in rabbitmq now what functionality does this rabbitmq provides it has one function it acts as a message broker basically someone can push messages into this queue and someone can read the messages from this queue so once backend web application pushes the code which is coming from the front end to the rabbitmq there is another application that is running called as consumer the purpose of consumer is to read messages from the rabbitmq and execute them okay so backend web application doesn't execute the code it will send this code to the consumer using rabbitmq and it's the work of the consumer to execute the code after consumer executes the code it will update the status of the code to this redis redis here is acting as a db from where this web application can read the status of the job okay 
So basically consume will execute the code and whatever the output of the current execution is, it will write it to Redis constantly. Okay. Now when we hit the submit code button, front end application will make an API call to the backend for getting the job status. Okay. So for that backend web application will reach to the Redis, see the status of the job. It will respond with that status to the front end. So that's how the entire job status is displayed on the UI. So whatever the status of the job is, it's already available in the Redis, which is written by consumer. And it's the job of the web application to read the status from the Redis and send it to the UI. So hope you are clear with the entire architecture of this platform. And so now what should you do with the knowledge that you have gained in this video? So if you are a student, it's important that you create a standout resume from your peers. You can actually do that by working on really good projects. So what you can do, you can try recreating this platform in your own favorite programming language. If you are stuck somewhere, you can check out this GitHub repo where I have pushed all the code which I have written. I will add the link of this repo in the description of this video as well. If you are an experienced developer and want to contribute to this project, you can open a PR. Currently, I am working on adding support for more programming languages. So if you know how to implement them, please create a PR and send it to me. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. So if you have any comments or suggestions, do add in the comment section. I will be more than happy to read and implement that. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps us to stay motivated and create more content. Thanks for watching.